Let's jump into the headlines of the movie news you can use. And uh, let's talk about what's been going on with movies the last week, shall we? Sweet. So first up, we have Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse uh, took <laughs> home $120 million in the U.S. alone. Uh, have you seen Spider uh, this Spider-Man movie yet? And, yes, uh, yes, I have. <laughs> what what did you think of this movie? It's not it's not my favorite one, but it's it's really good one. Like I was really the the Spider Man uh franchise is the one franchise within the Marvel universe that I can still depend on. <laughs> it's the one that I can still say, you know what? I know that I'm going in. I'm gonna get a good film. It'll have decent writing, acting. the The story will be cohesive because I like have a strong relationship with marvel and what they've been doing like it, it really upsets me <laughs> so like if you if you haven't noticed like i don't have one marvel movie on the channel because i just have no desire to discuss them the only one i have is the the uh, black panther film other than that i have not touched on one marvel film because they can be so disappointing and just you know the blockbuster big money you know thing and they're not really putting any writing into um the, the metaverse and all those because marvel and those movies they used to be so good like phase one awesome yes. <laughs> and then we got lost so i don't really but i thought i thought it was really good and i'm not surprised at all by the by the box office not one bit yeah 120 million and there's something about spider-man that's just uh any iteration i mean there's peter parker and now we've got miles mm -hmm. morales like what do you uh, what do you think about Miles Morales and the voice actor behind it? I love it. I uh, got my Wu-Tang shirt on today. <laughs> the voice actor, he's a lead actor. Well, was. The series just ended recently on the show. And I, I think I did a review for Dope. He's the the lead there. I think his name is Shamik Moore. Shamik awesome. Moore, yeah, that was it. Yes, he does really, really well with the voice acting and he he has a lot of charisma. It really gets you interested in in the character. It just blends so well, and not even just the uh, because the style of animation is different, but the the writing for the animation is is really good for it to be an animation. Because sometimes they just throw it away and say, "Oh, this is for kids. We don't have to really try as hard." But the way they tie in everything, I think it's really good, and I think the lead actor does a wonderful job. When I first saw Spider Man into the Spider Verse, I thought he was a teenager. Yeah. And then you see him, he's like, he's a full grown man. And I'm like, wow. Like I I had no idea like he could do a teen voice that that well. Yeah. Um and then uh I had the good fortune to go to CinemaCon uh, a month and a half ago and they brought out uh Shamik Moore and Haley Steinfeld mm -hmm. um and showed like fifteen minutes of the movie. It was they showed the scene where they were on the rooftop yeah. um at the barbecue uh for the dad promotion and um uh, they were still working on the uh, the animation for it, but uh, yeah, it was mm. yeah, great uh, great film. Um, I I thought it was a little too long for my yeah. personal taste, but because uh, it was thirty minutes longer than the first film. They uh, always do that. I guess they yeah. try to milk it a little bit. Like, well, every single franchise they add on. If it was good, to, like the first one's decent, they managed to add on an extra twenty minutes of padding. Like, I guess trying to do a little fan service. I don't know what they're doing, but they can keep it. All the movies that have came out have been too long, in my opinion. <laughs> well, and I, I'm someone that I like the four hour and fifteen minute version of Dances with Wolves which is like watching paint dry, I think, to most people. But I actually <laughs> like that. I was actually, like, nodding off a little bit. Um, mm. The Spider-Man was, if anything, it was too visual because I was like, it was almost like it was, like, hypnotizing me. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, make it up halfway <laughs> through. Like, they said that they're still swinging through. And I'm like, oh, still mm. swinging through the Spider-Verse. <laughs> yeah. We had Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse raking in $120 million. We had The Little Mermaid in week two pulling in $41 million. We had mm -hmm. The Boogeyman, the horror film, pulling in at third place at $12 million. Mm -hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy, $10.6 million. And Fast X uh, dropping off quickly uh, at $9.5 yeah, million. Yeah, not surprised. Yeah, they ruined it. They ruined it. <laughs> does, does any of that surprise you? Like, Have you seen most of the, the films on that top five list? or? Uh, I meant to check out Boogeyman, even though I know it's probably trash because any any all the movies I've ever seen that were named Boogeyman were not good features. But I just I, I love horror and I just I wanted to check it out. But I um 
I always go for like the, like I rush to see things like Renfield. <laughs> I flock to the movies to go see that and see Nicolas Cage be Nicolas Cage. But a lot of the things I just don't really rush to see them. But um, I have seen, I haven't seen Boogeyman. I've seen The Little Mermaid. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed. It was not perfect by far, but I was really surprised at, because I have no faith in uh, live action Disney whatsoever. <laughs> My expectations were very low. So I was surprised that I enjoyed the film at all and some of the changes that they did to the movie. So that, that was a really big surprise there. Um, let's see. In the last one, Guardians of the Galaxy. I love Guardians. Like not this movie in particular, but just the franchise. It's probably like one of my favorites. I like some of the things they did with Rocket, but the, the tone of the movie was really off for me. Like it was really serious in some ways. It has like the best villain to me that we've seen in a minute. Um, and then we get like, it's a little offbeat. It'll be really serious and then it's comical. And sometimes it works, but I think they beeline some of the main characters that we have invested time in for, you know, other storylines. And this is like the last, uh, this is the last Guardian of the Galaxy we're going to get, right? Uh, with James Gunn, at least, because he's yeah. taken yeah, over the I, I thought, Yeah, I was hoping the send off would be a little better. It's it's hard because the low is the bar is really low for Marvel. So to say like, Oh, it's really good. You know, for Marvel, that's not really giving the movie any real credit. <laughs> yeah. Phase four and now into phase five. I, I still, I'm, I'm sticking by my sticking by my man, Kevin Feige. I still love Kevin Feige. I still mm -hmm. like the MCU, but it's not like, it's not perfect every time out anymore. Like, yeah, you're right. Phase one, phase two was good. Phase three, mm -hmm. end game, love end game, love Spider-Man, uh, No Way Home, uh, all those. Mm -hmm. And then we get Lower Thor, Love and Thunder. Oh, God. And, and then Guardians of the Galaxy <laughs> Volume 3. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's the weirdest thing. So <laughs> it's almost like you took a Venn diagram of cutest possible <laughs> animals <laughs> and meanest things that a serial, a, a budding serial killer will do to to small animals, oh. and cross them between the two. The the where the Venn diagram of those two groups crosses is mm -hmm. how Rocket has his origin story along with his three or four other I friends. That's crazy because I never <laughs> thought like like I never watched Gardens of the Galaxy. Like, ooh, I can't wait till we get more information on Rocket. You know, I, yeah. I never thought about that. Like, it's something I never knew I needed, but I didn't mind it. It was it was very you know touching and yeah. it was nice. But the writing and a lot of other things with the movie could have been a lot better. But it's the best Marvel that we've gotten in a long time. It's not yeah. for Love and Thunder. <laughs> oh god yeah thor uh so many things wrong with thor love and thunder <sighs> moving on from thor love and thunder uh 